Hello, my name is Jerome and welcome to my RC Construction YouTube channel. Today, once again, I'm dealing with my Lisu SK500 LC excavator and problems I've been having with this rear track drive system over the past month or month plus. I installed the parts that Tucan Hobby sent me. They did not fix the problem. And now I have been thinking about it and reached the conclusion that the continuous strip gears in here are not the problem. They are a symptom. And I think what's happening is something might be caught up behind here or something like that that's preventing this from turning. And when this no longer is able to turn, that it forces the gears inside of here to strip themselves. So today I am going to attempt to take this whole thing apart to see if I could find something jammed up in there or something that's preventing this from turning. And if I find something, I will repair that and then fix these gears again. If I do not find anything, the only thing I can do at that point is try to get Toucan Hobby to send me this whole assembly so I can just replace it and move forward. But as for now, this machine just sits unoperated. So the first thing I'm going to do, there are about, I don't know, 40 to 50 of these little screws going around here. And I am going to take all of those out and then see what I need to do after that. All right, so I've taken out a ton of screws and this piece here comes off. And also this back gear comes off. There's a set of bearings in here that seem to be freely turning. But what I don't like is if you can look inside of here, this is just dry. And so there's no lubrication inside of here or on these bearings at all. Everything's just dry. But I'm going to continue taking this apart. So moving forward, there's a snap ring in the front of here. And I got some snap ring pliers. So I remove this first ring, a couple of shims here, and then this bearing comes off. And again, there's no lubrication at all, it's just kind of scaly. Then there's another ring back here, and then this comes off. So not really anything back here blocking it from turning, but I'm definitely got to clean this up and clean up the inside of here. Hit it with the white lithium grease and clean inside and all the gears and throw it back together and see, see what happens so it doesn't make that grinding sound. I looked at the very first gear, which I replaced before, which is this one, it's not chewed up yet, but I was hearing a lot of grinding in there. So that's where I'm at. So I guess it's kind of good news. I don't find anything binding. However, I was able, this is a greasy toothbrush that I use to clean out the inside of here. As I rub it along here, the scaly stuff, it comes off quite easily. So hopefully cleaning this is pretty simple and I'll lube it up and put it back together and check the function. Now everything's clean, lubed up. I'm gonna put it back together, starting with this piece. 
with the indentation here, it goes around this. Next comes this with the flat side going back here because it sits on this groove. Next is this single washer shim. Next are the bearings, which I put lithium grease on. Then we have the two shims go on here. And finally, the snap ring. Actually, I can leave him out of my way. There we go. Pretty smooth. And then finally, this piece, lots of lithium grease. We'll go on here and I'll start installing the screws. Right now, I took my toothbrush, I brushed off all of the gears here, all of the gears here, to make sure there was nothing on them. And even inside of here, I clean all of the final drive. Check that out. And I don't see any damaged gears anywhere. I'm going to reassemble these, put some lithium grease on them, and slide them back into the final drive. I have the entire assembly back together. Sounds better. I guess the real test will come when I put the track back on. One thing I wanted to bring up is, let me move my camera. This is the motor back here for the track. And this cover covers up this motor. There's an opening that goes along this cover. And when I've taken these off, which I've taken off three times, they were full of sand and dirt because it just falls down in here and it starts filling this cavity up, which I don't think is good if it gets inside of this motor. So I took some packing tape, put it across the top, and also across the bottom to prevent dirt from falling in and filling up that cavity. Just a note of something I noticed as I was getting ready to put this cover back on. I have the track back on and things seem to be working well. I do notice that this motor, when it's spinning fast, it kind of moves out one or two millimeters. And when I put this cover over it and go backwards, actually it does, this gets a lot louder. And as I just looked in here, I can see this little indentation here is from where this is 
actually rubbing up against here. So I don't think there's anything I can do about that because this motor is fixed. There's no adjustments. So I guess I'll just put some lubricant on this and uh, see how it goes. Not sure what I can do about that. Unless I created a gasket along here to hold this off one or two millimeters. Maybe make something out of cardboard and it'll stay quiet. I think I'm going to do that. So this is the gasket I made that's gonna go on here and provide a little standoff to prevent this motor from hitting the back of here. I also put a dab of lithium grease on it just to reduce the amount of friction. So I have my little gasket installed and A bit loud in reverse, but it's working much quieter when it goes forward because the motor in there, the torque moves it in. So when I go in reverse and the motor reverses, the torque moves it out and it's rubbing up against here. So I will play with this for a while and. Uh, Keep you updated on how things go. I have to do. I have to do whatever works. So, if you like what you saw, click like. Feel free to subscribe. I hope this helped you. If you needed the help, and I will keep you posted every step of the way. Peace.